Hey guys, this is another episode of uh, Lolo 101 and this is part two of how to make a sundial. Um, I'm sorry I skipped ahead. I already did it, and this is the finishing product of your sundial. And all you have to do, it's really simple. I have to do when you cut out how I did it on the first one. All you have to do is simply put it accurately in the middle of the cardboard box, I mean of the cardboard, and then just glue it on there. All I did was glue it, if you can see, and I already made this glue line. I already went outside and I already used it. Um, and a little bit later what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and show you how to use this accurately. Um, people at my school may see this video because I, this is a project that we're doing. Who knows, they might look up how to make a sundial because they forgot it or something. So, uh, yeah, just know that this is something I do on the side, on the side, and I don't know. It's just something I like to do, like your hobbies, you like to like play soccer or something, or go uh, on plays or something like that. Well, my hobby is making videos on YouTube because it's fun and my friends know this. Yeah, one of them do. One of my friends knows this and uh, just something I like to do. So, uh, this is a song dial. Uh, project thing the jigger and uh yeah i do have to put more readings on that so i'll probably do another video with me putting a reading on here because i already did one just a second ago so i'll probably do one another video with me doing this this afternoon or something like that so check that out um yeah so basically if you don't know what a sundial is it's a it's a it's how you tell time by the sun. So this little thing majigger right here, the triangle, as you can see, if you see that shadow right here, it, this reading there was a shadow right here. So as the thing moves, the you see that little triangle, it moves, see? Until it gets right here and it's lined up with that. And the little triangle right here, the shadow moves. And that's what tells time. So this mark was at 4.48. I don't know if, I don't know. Anyway, that's why I marked it at because that's where the shadow was. So I don't know. I'm not positive how to use this. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So if you do need help how to use it right, just look it up, I guess. And um, yeah, there was a paper that came with this that we had to do. But I didn't get to that yet. So, um, yeah, so this is my sundial. It's how you tell time by the sun. Uh, this moves. The sun doesn't move when it's on the earth moves. So when this is on the earth, it moves. So the shadow moves and it tells the time. So you mark the where the cat of shafts um, and then you mark where, where it was and then what the time is on when you pop or something like that. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. Um, yeah, so I am going to make more videos. This is part two. Sorry. All I did was glue this on here like this and you want to glue it right here on the right stuff, like on the bottom. Don't glue it like upward like that because it's kind of tricky how to tell you how to glue it on there, but glue it like this. The bottom of the right side triangle on the bottom of this. Upward. So, uh, yeah, this is my sundial. Um, if you wish, you can decorate your sundial, but for my project, I'm not going to do that because we're not supposed to more like flat signs on it. Because so I already did that and it was not great. So, you can like put colored tape around it. Um, I, that box had it on it. Hold on. This box had colored tape on it, like the pink on there. You can also put colored tape on there, like this colored tape. It's really cute, and I'll probably take the. Never mind. I was gonna take it off of there and put it on my, but I'm not gonna do that. 
So anyway, that's my Sumba project. And um, yeah, once again, people in high school that may see this, this is something I do on the side. Um, yeah, so you probably won't look up that on YouTube, but if you do see me on YouTube, this is something I do on the side once again, and don't judge. So, um, yeah, this is just something I do for fun. Like, it's not like it's that better anyway. So, anyway, uh, this is something I do on the side. Love doing it. It's something that I just started. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am going to do a couple more videos here upcoming, and right now, just to pass time, I'm going to show you what's in this drawer over here. So, what's in the drawer? Ooh. So, this is what I'm going to show you. All my stuff in this drawer because I'm a fanatic of this kind of stuff. So, what I have in this drawer, I'm going to just name off a few products that I like and I think that you should use. The first product I think you should use is antibacterial hand cream. It softens and smooths and kills germs. That's good because it's a hand sanitizer and it's a lotion. So it's really good. It's by April Bath and Shower. Um, I'm not sure how much this cost. I got it at a birthday party in a gift bag or something like that. And it looks like this. And it really, really works. Let me show you what it looks like. It just is a white cream like that. It's a shower cream thing. I mean, hand cream. And you just rub it in, and it smells like it smells like sunscreen, but it works really, really well, and it kills 99.9% germs. So that's not bad. Okay, my other one is the Healing Garden. Um, Relax Therapy Lavender Relaxation Body Mist. I don't use this as body mist. I actually spray it in my room like an air freshener. And it really works because it doesn't really smell like a body mist. I wouldn't recommend it for your body because it really doesn't smell good on your body. But it does smell good as like a, like a spray for your room or stuff like that. I do really, really, really recommend this for your room. I guess I wouldn't recommend it just actually spraying it on your body like you're supposed to do. I just spray it in my room and it smells really good in the atmosphere of your room, not on your body. So, Okay, so this is what it looks like. And, and it smells really good and I do recommend this. That what's bothering me. Okay, it does smell really good, and yeah, recommend this. I think I got this at Walmart. I'm not sure. And another one that I do recommend, the Body Mist, is Enchanted Orchid. And I got it from Victoria's Secrets. And it smells really, 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 really good. So yeah, um, another one I recommend in body lotion is Carried Away. Like it's almost gone because a lot of my friends use this at school because I keep it in this little pouch. Hold on. I have three. So I have Country Chick, Apple Blossom Citrus, and carried away once again. So, I got these from I got these from Bath and Body Works, and yeah. Um, hold on. I'm gonna put on some music because this is really boring because it's like really quiet in here. So I'm gonna put on some music. Transformation from how fast she Okay, we're talking about music again because it's kind of boring here. Um, just playing some music for that loads. Um, another one that I would recommend is the Lucky You. 
from Lucky Brand. It's from this brand is Lucky You by. I'm trying to look it up. Okay. I'm trying to see who it's by. Hold on. This brand is by blah 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 blah. Where is it? Lucky You is trademark. Oh my. This is a Liz Claiborne product. It was eight dollars for this. So it's very expensive. I don't think it's that expensive, but it's kind of expensive. So yeah. Okay. Um. My earphones just hooked up. Right. Okay. So this is Lucky You. And it's Lucky You brand, and it smells really good. And it kind of smells like vanilla. Yeah, but it's why it was Playboy, and I got it from Walmart for $8, like I said. $8, $7. Okay, another thing I have that I do recommend is this lip chap. Um, it's gum lip chap. It's spearmint. And it smells really good. And it tastes good too. Okay, so this is from Walmart. And it's spearmint. Okay. Another one that I recommend is Chap Ice from Lip. It's Lip Protectant Crazy Flavors. This one is in blueberry, blue raspberry. And this is what it looks like. And it is really good. I don't know what's going on with my eyes. Okay. Um, and another one. My last one. Um, these uh, Laffy Taffy lip glosses. And this is cherry. And this is green apple. And I got them from Walmart. I don't know how much they cost because... My mom got them for me, so I'm not sure how much they cost. Um, and then my last but not least is my Mary Kate and Ashley Coast to Coast perfume, also from Walmart. I got this for Chris for Christmas, but I'm pretty sure it's from Walmart because yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, it looks like this, and it smells really good. It doesn't smell like any vanillas or any like, it smells very sophisticated and fresh and clean. And I like that smell. Okay, so that's all that are in this. And these little small things that I don't use. This is just Amber Rose Lotion. And it kind of looks well. And then I just have lip gloss in here. Hot chocolate. And deodorant. So, uh, yeah, that's all that's in there. There is, oh yeah, and I'm going to do the outfit of the day. So, so it's not really anything spectacular, but it's something, and it's not very that good. But I just wear it because it's not that bad, but it's just something to lounge in, I guess. So it's just something to lounge in. I just have my hair in a bun, and it's just in the lounge. So, tell me how you like this video, and if you do like it, and if you do like it, and if you do like it, then that's okay. Um, I just lost what I was going to show you. But anyway, if you do like it, that's okay, and... Put in your comments what you think I should do for my next videos because I'm kind of lost here. So, uh, yeah. So just show me. Thanks for, uh, watching, I guess. And, yeah. And I will be doing videos on how to work your Sunday. By the way. Okay. Bye.